Hi, my name is Mike Filler, and I'm a solutions leader for Thermal Storage. We've got an exciting message to share about a new way to fund your next chilled water plant project. My name is Bruce Lindsay, and I'm a business development leader for Thermal Storage. We are not tax advisors, but the message today is about tax incentives for thermal storage. The Inflation Reduction Act of 2022 was signed into law in August. The IRA includes new and enhanced credits and incentives that promote investment in United States-based production or use of clean energy, United States manufacturing capabilities related to renewable energy components, and electric vehicles and related infrastructure made, bought, or placed in service in the United States. The IRA also includes new ways to monetize tax credits and incentives, making the incentives meaningful for buildings that previously could not utilize the benefit. The IRA um, expanded the Energy Investment Tax Credit, or ITC, to include standalone energy storage, specifically calling out thermal energy storage as included. The ITC was first enacted by the Energy Tax Act of 1978 but this is the first time that thermal storage has been included. As part of the IRA, there are bonuses to the base ITC value for thermal storage. The base starts at 6%. Then there is a five times multiplier for following the prevailing wage and apprentice program guidance from the Treasury Department. There is also up to a 10% bonus for using domestic content. The final bonus of up to 10% is for areas of the country impacted by unemployment from coal or natural gas job cuts. So for most of the country, we can work with you on a thermal storage project to get a 40% tax credit. And another major change with the IRA is a provision for tax exempt entities, such as schools, universities, or state, local, municipal um, governments to get the ITC via a new direct payment method. This has been a complaint for some time that tax credits had to be transferred for public projects. It's fixed now with the IRA. From a timing perspective, projects can start now. The ITC is applicable for projects that are completed and commissioned on or after January 1 of 2023. Projects must begin construction prior to January 1, 2025. So we have a limited window with the current law to take advantage of the tax credit for thermal storage. There have also been several changes to the 179D energy efficient commercial buildings deduction. Now this is a deduction, not a credit. So will be based on the taxpayer's tax rate. The former method for this tax deduction was based on ASHER 90.1's energy cost budget method. The Department of Energy has supplied guidance on how to accomplish this. The max deduction used to be $1.80 per square foot of the building if you improve the energy cost of the building by 50% over the ASHRAE 90.1 2007 baseline. Now, there are two paths for earning the deduction, the energy cost budget method versus an ASHRAE 90.1 2019 baseline, or an improvement of energy use intensity for an existing building. Also, the improvement only has to be 25% now. There is a sliding scale from 25 to 50%, with a sliding scale for the tax deduction up to $5 per square foot. The retrofit project must follow prevailing wage and apprentice program guide, guidance, or the values are reduced by a factor of five. And the same building can now get the credit multiple times, every three to four years versus once for the lifetime of the building. Now we covered a lot of information but Bruce and I are advising what we understand of the 800 plus page piece of legislation. The IRS hasn't issued its guidance on this yet, and we're not tax or legal advisors. If you have questions, please contact your local train sales office for assistance with your next thermal storage project.